Welcome back to Google Guru. Today's video is brought to you by Kevin Brookhauser, Google Apps Certified Trainer. One of my favorite uses of Google Docs as a teacher is using forms to create rubrics. And there are a lot of uh, third-party scripts that are available to be used with forms and spreadsheets uh, that do create rubrics. But I'm just going to show you how to create a form using the plain Google Forms. So again, go to Create in the uh, Drive file and then Form. And you'll want to title your form. I'll just call this Sample Essay Rubric. And I always begin my forms by asking for the uh, section number. That's how I sort my classes first. Make that multiple choice. One, two, three. You want to make this a required question so that I don't forget to include that. And then I'm going to add text. And this is going to be a simple last name and also make that required, and that'll be the student's last name. Now this could be for writing, it could be for public speaking, it could be for any sort of assessment that you give student or assignment. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to use the grid feature, and that's here under advanced. This is gonna be for an essay, so um, the first category I'm gonna create is content. And on row one, I'm going to have clear purpose. You can create any Thing you want and then I want to create in the column I'll put a scale a numbered scale um, I'll just go one through five one two three four five all right so that's gonna create a grid where I have the rows with the labels and then I'll be able to identify the number and you'll see what that looks like on the end of the form I'll also make this required so that I don't forget to actually submit it and then I'm gonna create a new grid with a new topic and this one is going to be style. Same thing. All right. Again, I'm going to order it one through five. Five being the best, one being the worst. Make it required. Done. And then I'm going to add one more grid. And this one will be called editing. And of course, I can make as many of these as I want. And I'll go back to my five point scale make it required and then I always end with a paragraph question so that I can post comments and then click done okay and so I can either send this form to my students to have them eval evaluate their own work or I can just keep it to myself and use it to just collect all of the data as I'm grading through the paper uh, or for the assignment up at the top of the page I can click view live form and this is the link to the live form. And so you'll see that I put in a section number. And I can just truck through this. Cool thing is this works pretty well with a tablet. If I just have the link, I can just go through here and uh, score each assignment. And then I can list any of my comments and then click Submit. So what happens is these submissions automatically get populated into a spreadsheet. And if I go back to the uh, form that I created, I just click View Responses. And then I automatically get that data. Um, I, it always starts with the timestamp so I can see when it was submitted, section number, and then last name. So I can sort this spreadsheet by section number and then last name. Um, then the cool thing over here is then you, you see all the numbers and then you get the uh, the comments so this automatically sums up all of the options so he got a 50 well 12 times times is that 60 so he got a 50 out of 60 so you see that it automatically calculates the total using that form and then I can actually just drag that formula down to the next columns and so it'll automatically add up the next submissions in the form so that's a great tool. I use it all the time when I'm grading student work. And the scripts that are available, like Fluberu, have ways that you can actually email the results directly to students. Uh, you can do that. You can cut and paste the results. Or I know some teachers who actually print this out, and then they'll cut up strips and then hand the strips to the students.